Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide of a case of complete hydatidiform mole. And this is taken from a curetting from the uterine contents. So a complete hydatidiform mole is part of a spectrum of gestational trophoblastic disease, which includes hydatidiform mole, choriocarcinoma, and placental site trophoblastic tumor. Within hydatidiform mole itself, there is a spectrum including partial, complete or invasive mole. And I have gone into more detail in the accompanying video of the talking pot of the gross features of hydatidiform mole. So let's focus on the microscopic features here. And let me just orientate you. So here we are looking at some endometrial tissue, which is not surprising because this is a uterine curating. So we have secretory endometrial glands surrounded by stroma. In some areas, we can see the stroma is markedly decidualized with these very plump, large cells with low NC ratios in the stroma. And this is not surprising because of the progesterone effect. All of these structures here are chorionic villi. So this is part of the hydatidiform mole and part of the abnormal placental tissue. Let's have a look at this particular chorionic villus. First of all, you will notice that this is very swollen. It is enlarged and we call this hydropic. A normal sized villus would be much smaller, for example here. And this hydropic villus is not only very edematous and swollen, it also has this central empty looking area that is devoid of nuclei, as opposed to the presence of nuclei outside. We have a little bit of fibrillary material in the center. This central empty looking area is known as a cistern. And hydropic villi or swollen villi with cistern formation is a classical feature of complete hydatidiform mole. The other abnormal feature is proliferation of trophoblastic tissue. Let's have a quick histology recap. Normally, chorionic villi are covered by an inner layer of cytotrophoblast, and this is again covered by an outer layer of syncytial trophoblast where this entire layer is multinucleated. Here also is part of the syncytial trophoblast. So both of the cyto and syncytial trophoblast form trophoblastic tissue. Let's head back to the hydatidiform mole. And we can see that there is some proliferation of the trophoblast. And this proliferation is circumferential, meaning that it's sort of seen pretty much around the entire circumference of this villus. So this is circumferential proliferation of trophoblast, which again is a feature of hydatidiform mole, as opposed to normal chorionic villi where the trophoblast proliferation is only seen at one area or one pole of the villus. We are now going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with normal placental tissue. On the left, we have a case of tubal ectopic pregnancy. So this is the wall of the fallopian tube. But here we have normal chorionic villi from the placenta. And this is taken at the same magnification as on the right where we have the hydatidiform mole. And you can see that the diameter of the normal villi is much smaller than that of these hydropic swollen villi seen in the hydatidiform mole. In addition, we don't see cistern formation like we do here in the hydatidiform mole. And another feature as mentioned is that where there is proliferation of trophoblast, it's only seen at one pole of the villus, as opposed to the circumferential trophoblastic proliferation seen in hydatidiform moles. Here is another example. You can just see a little bit of trophoblast proliferation, and also here, right at one pole of the villus, rather than around the entire circumference. Let's have a very quick recap of the gross appearance. And this is a virtual pathology specimen taken from our virtual pathology museum in our online web resource, PathWeb. Here is a uterus, and within the uterine cavity, we can see that there is this mass that is extremely friable, and it is composed of these translucent, grape-like, or bubble-like vesicles. And each one of these corresponds to a swollen chorionic villus that we saw microscopically.
you can find the corresponding video on the gross features of Hydro-34 mole under talking pots and slides. And here I go into a little bit more detail on the different types of Hydro-34 moles. If you would like full access to our online virtual pathology museum with more than 700 virtual specimens, you simply need to register for PathWeb. Registration is free and you can find the link in the video description. Hence, in summary, on the right, we see here a case of hydatidiform mole, which is part of the spectrum of gestational trophoblastic disease. And this is characterized by hydropic or swollen chorionic villi with central empty appearing cisterns and with circumferential trophoblastic proliferation. Thank you.